So we're going to the second period, down three to one. What's the chatter in the locker room? Uh, I think we're just kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, we've lost enough games and struggled enough times that I thought it was important that we kind of came together as a group and made some plays that we needed to make that just weren't going in. And I think we as a group all believe that we can do it. And we just came up with two huge goals and then kind of didn't finish in the third. But, you know, five was the hero again. So, you know, it was a nice finish, but kind of want to get three points. What did you see on the goals to start the rally? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really do a whole lot. I just kind of put my stick down, and Johnson put the puck on my tape, so I'm pretty lucky to play with a playmaker like that when I like to shoot a little bit more. Uh, you got two more home games. Uh, one more home game to finish this homestand. How's it important to do that before you go on the road? I mean, we need to get wins. So no matter what it takes to get wins, no matter who we're playing, where we're playing them, we just need to get three points and start getting a little confidence in our team so we can get the monkey off our back. So I mean, just bring whatever we brought in the second period all game and the third period is Glasgow all game the next game too. Perfect. Thanks. So the game officially ends in a tie, but you pick up the extra point with that goal in the end. What is that going to mean towards the end of the season? Uh, it's huge. We need to get all the points we can. Obviously, we would like to get the win in regulation or maybe the five on five overtime. But uh, you know, to edge a team out by at least one point will definitely help. But uh, still early in the Mayak playoffs or the playoff season, so uh, you know, hopefully uh, it won't come down to that. But it definitely helps get one point. A lot of OT games for the Johnnies this season. How does the ice look three on three versus five on five? Uh, we definitely have a big sheet here as it's Olympic size, so uh, you know, there's lots of room to spread out. We have some we have some skill guys with some speed, so we've been practicing it last uh, this last week, and uh, we we're fortunate to very very end here. Uh, what are you excited about for your trip to Massachusetts? Uh, I think I'm excited to show uh, you know Eastern hockey what the Western uh, you know Division three is all about. Uh, we want to be a good represent representative of uh, of the West Division, and I think we're going to go out there and uh, surprise some people definitely. So you're down three to one going into the second period. What are you saying to the guys? Uh, you know we just had to you know, keep our game simple. We weren't really turning our D. We weren't getting pucks in behind them. We weren't wearing them down. We finally started to do that in the second period. We started getting guys in front of the net, and trying to crash the net. We wore down their goal. We were able to find the you know back in the net a couple of times. The Johnnies have had some mixed results in OT games this season. Um, how does it feel to pick up that extra point today? You know what? When it comes to Maya Kaki, there's only 16 games, and every point's crucial, especially coming last week of the year. Um, you know, it was big for us. We worked on the power play three on three a little bit this week, and uh, it was a great job by Ryan Kiro. Good shot by Brownie, and it was good to get that extra point. Does the mindset of the team change as you move into some non-conference play? Uh, we don't want it to. You know, we got to start clicking on all cylinders, especially going into break. We want to have a good, fresh mindset about how we need to win hockey games. And we kind of started seeing little bits and pieces there in the third period, but we got to put together a 60-minute game and see what happens.